Daniel here, Digital Grassroots Officer from Archery GB, and in this video I'm going to guide you through setting up your Club Management System, or CMS. If you've already set it up and you're looking to create an event, find the link in the description for our video guiding you through create an event once you've set up your CMS. So to get started, we first need to log in to Sport80 as we would usually. So we log in to Sport80 and then we want to select our club account, which in this instance for these tutorials, funnily enough, the club's called Tutorial Club. Next, on the left hand side, we need to select Access Archery GB CMS as shown now. So now we're at the beginning of the setup and now we need to select our club. And once you've selected your club, underneath another field will open, which is titled Subdomain. So like you have a website, which in this instance could be tutorialclub.com, within CMS you will also have a site where people can directly book onto bookings, for example, and this will be within this subdomain. Next, we need to enter our club name into the subdomain. Make sure this is correct before you press save as you can't change it. So we are gonna type in tutorial club. So this will generate our site to be tutorialclub.sport80-clubs.com, but you don't need to worry about that for now. So once you've double checked it, everything's spelt right, press confirm. So our next step is to set up our CMS site. So to do this, we're heading to the left hand menu, scrolling down to manage, website and clicking setup. And on this basic details page, we're gonna complete as much as we can, which is gonna include description, any social media handles like Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Additionally, we're gonna add our contact details for the club, such as email, address, mobile number, etc. And once we've completed those details, we're importantly gonna press save. Next, once that's saved, we're gonna to head to the images tab as shown. And this is where you can customize the look of your site and make it personalized and customized to your club. So to do this, we recommend adding two pictures. One is your club logo and another is the header image, which will be a long image. That could be an image of your club, your field, maybe your members, anything related that will really highlight how special your club is. So to do that, we add our logo, like shown, and we upload that. Next, we head to the header images, and this is the, the large image. We upload our image here too. And once that's done, we wanna press save. So now you might be wondering, well, what does this look like? So in order to have a look what this looks like, we wanna head over to the preview button as shown, and this will show you the initial site that you've just built. As you'll see, your logo is in the top left hand corner and your header image is the background. Once you're happy, we wanna go back to the basic details page. If we scroll down to the bottom, we've got the availability tab and this is really important. This is the date from which you'd like your CMS site to be live from. So we recommend to put it today as today's date to make it live and public and to be ready to be used. So we're gonna to select today's date and press save. You've now set up your club management system. If you'd like to learn how to create a booking for an event such as a taster or a beginner's course, then check out the video in the description.